Chinmay, first of all, on behalf of Times Now, I'd like to congratulate you. I can understand you were very young at that time for you to now come out as an adult and to speak out against someone who is very powerful within the industry, it takes a lot of courage, takes a lot of guts. So I will not ask you what is it that he has said, because you've already made details about it, you've made that public, but you should speak to us and let us know how the Me Too campaign is required because people, men in very powerful positions, have actually threatened and in some cases also managed to destroy careers of those who are vulnerable. That happened in your case, didn't it? Uh, it actually, I don't think it has happened in my case to give the devil its due credit. Uh, I don't think he has uh, manipulated my career or uh, tried to ruin my career in any way. Um, the the uh, the uh, groping happened. I remember uh, running away and um, and especially in um, in Switzerland, I, I made sure that I I was not caught alone with him. And thereafter, I think whichever songs that I have sung of his, only the lyric sheet used to come, and uh, I never had to be alone in any place. And whatever I said out in public on Twitter, acknowledging his work as a lyricist was because it was expected of me to do as a professional and I did so and as of now I think um, uh, there are a lot of girls who have come out uh, there are a couple of my co own co-singers who have come out but are petrified of coming out in the open and I shall be their voice and speak for them he has attempted to kiss uh, at least two of them in his own office and um, reading the stories made me shake because it is difficult to swallow all this and to not internalize all of this and I am um, sure that a lot of girls are afraid of even speaking out because he is a powerful man and it, it's very difficult to speak out against people in power no matter where you are, whether it's your college, whether it's your own home or whether it's your uh, office and in this case our workplace which is in the industry at the, and at the same time I would say that there are a couple of bad apples and I would like to say that I, I have felt mostly safe, if not all the time safe, in the, working in this industry. And uh, it has been tough, yes, but uh, the time has come, the time's up. Well, Chinmay, quite understandable. You are even now visibly shaking and it is, uh, must be an emotional trauma for you to come out like this. And it is a brave step that you are also taking the voices forward of those women who even now don't want to come out with it. Why is it? What are they scared of? What exactly is it that Vera Muthu is yeah. likely to do to them? What really scares them? I cannot speculate on all that. I think uh, most of us, I mean, I have heard hundreds of stories the past couple of days of uh, people being, uh, you know, sexually assaulted before they were the age of 11, both boys and girls who have carried all their scars well into adulthood and they have been assaulted by their own elder brothers, grandfathers, uncles, stepfathers, some in the worst of cases even by their own fathers. They can't speak up because they are not supposed to, you know, ruin their sisters or their mothers or their Absolutely. grand mother's lives or if these men have children they are not supposed to ruin their lives there is so much at stake I mean it is not just the it is it, it is in the collective collective conscience of the victim to bear the not only the emotional trauma of the of the assault but it is also her responsibility to make sure that the victim's family is taken care of and they are safe I hope this me too campaign will help especially I mean workplace and education aside um, it needs to start at home. I, uh, it, it's, it's broken my heart to see the number of people who said, boys, young boys before the time they were 11, that they were raped by their right. own family members. And, and so many of them have shared their stories and it is difficult. And it has to start at home. And I think everything else will percolate from there. Start at home, listen to the voices of your own family members and stand up for them. At least we could do. Sinwaya, you said it right. You're, I absolutely agree with you. It has to start at the family. These power equations and this conspiracy of silence must end.